We're calling the meeting to order today, February 23rd, 2023 at 7 p.m. Thank you all for joining us and being part of our community. Um, uh, so just a few remarks as we begin, just to our board members, super important that you are attending um, and the committees promptly. Uh, the assignments have been sent out. If you still don't have them, let us know. We'll send them to you. To our new board members, it's important that you pick up your handbooks from Ursula, so please make sure that you coordinate with her. And if you have any questions, please let us know. And with that, we're going to move right into our public gallery session. Um, and I believe Mr. Eric Moore, you wanted the floor. Just to remind everybody, a total of three minutes, two and a half, to kind of like present and then the remaining 30 seconds for any questions or answers. Go ahead, Mr. Eric Moore. The floor thank, is you, thank you. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you. And good evening, everyone. Thank you for allowing me to be with you tonight. My name is Eric Moore. Um, I'm the program director at Samaritan Daytop Village's um, Support Connection Center located at 3051 Plain Road here in the Bronx. Um, we started uh, Samaritan's new endeavor, the Support Connection Center, in July um, of 2002, July 11th, to be exact. Um, and we provide short stay. Um, Stabilization and engagement services for men and women. Um, we currently to date have been able to provide service to 57 men and women um, with the average age of 35, the average length of stay being three days, um, as we are a five to 10 day program, um, providing, um, as I said before, short stay uh, engagement services to address substance use, mental health, uh, and the like. Um, of the 57 guests that I uh, mentioned, 91% of them have been connected to care or reconnected to care. Um, and so that was one less person, uh, 57 less people uh, having to uh, be arrested again or having to be in the ER again. Um, of the 57 guests that we have served, 51% um, of them come with a mental health diagnosis alone. 35% of them are dual diagnosed um, individuals and 11% of them um, have substance use um, diagnosis. And what we intend on doing is continuing to uh, have a positive impact in the community to the men and women that so desperately need um, services that we provide. Um, it is our hope that any of the uh, members that are present tonight um, stop by come and see the space, you're more than welcome. And it is my hope that um, we are able to do um, a much broader presentation about our program um, in the very near future. Thank you so much. We look forward to that, Mr. Eric Moore. Okay, we will move right along. Um, do we have anyone else that would like to speak as part of our public gallery session? Yes. Hi, good night. Everyone, my name is Patricia Patterson Salmon. I'm the consistent liaison at Assemblyman Colliacy's office. And tomorrow we're. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Patricia. So the reports of the elected officials comes after this. We typically start with our public gallery session oh. for the members of the community, but you will get an opportunity shortly after. We just have to follow the agenda. No worries. Thank you. Apologies, Patricia. Thank you. Anyone else? Hi there, Beatrice. Uh, this is Nakai Cruz from CCRB, a city agency. Am I also to be waiting yes. for the other? Okay, I'm sorry. My apologies. Yes. These are for people, residents of the of the community of the district. This is their opportunity to share. They have three minutes. Um, Absolutely. Thank you. We appreciate your patience. Of course, they go first. Yes. <laughs> I hear that. Thank you. We have this is, I, I failed to mention, please forgive me, that on the call with me, is um, my esteemed leader and vice president Charles Madre and the assistant director Ori Glass. They're present with me. Please forgive welcome. me. For welcome, welcome. Thank you, and we look forward to your presentation more in depth next, probably next month. Yes. Anyone, any members of the community that would like to speak? Uh, Only yes. once. Hi. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is uh, William Langley. 
and I am a real estate professional that operates mainly in the Bronx. Um, I also operate in Westchester County as well as Connecticut. And I just wanted to come on here to introduce myself and to let the community members know that I'm always here to listen to community members. And at the very core of my business is really about uh, listening to people and hearing what their issues are. And then um, based on what the issue is, I like to couple my experience along with my expertise and then create a solution, all right? So I just wanted to introduce myself to let everyone know that I'm out here um, serving the community and my information will be inside the chat um, if anyone was interested in finding out more about what I do. And then I also, um, I am a teacher. Um, I've been teaching in the New Rochelle School District for the past 20 years. And uh, one of my goals is to actually teach teachers how to do what it is that I do. I'm a, I'm a dual career agent and I would love to show uh, teachers exactly how to be both educators as well as realtors. Thank you. <clears throat> I encourage you to connect with Ms. Tallene Dickerson. She's the chair of, of our Education and Youth Services uh, Committee. Yes, yeah, she, she is actually who invited me uh, to okay. speak this evening. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. Uh, any, anyone else? Uh, Madam Chair? Yes. This is, this is Robert Hall of the Housing Committee. And I would just like uh, this last speaker that spoke, um, I would like for him to be aware that there is a resource fair at the Y coming up on the 24th, Friday from 1030 to 1230 PM. And maybe you can arrive there and uh, we can talk. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, right. Mr. Robert Hall. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Any other members of the community that would like to speak? Okay, so we're gonna move on to our next session. Um, Ms. Patrika? Yes, I'm here. Okay, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Again, my name is Patrika Patterson Salmon, and I am the constituent liaison, well, one of the constituent liaison at Assemblyman Collier's office. And tomorrow we are hosting a housing resource fair at the, the North Bronx YMCA. The exact address is 1250 East 229th Street. And I'm encouraging everyone to come out, get a touch of everything that we have, and walk away with information. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to add. Thank you. Maybe you can put the information in the chat if you haven't sure. had a chance to. Sure, I will. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm. My name is Jasmine Morrell. I'm the second constituent liaison at Assemblyman Carly Hasey's office with Patrika. Another thing that we're hosting is a fire safety event. It's gonna be happening at Community Board 12. I'll also put the details in the chat. This is gonna be March 2nd. So it's coming up shortly, but you know, in a couple of weeks. So thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. Any other um, reports, elected official representative reports? Hi, um, this is Danella from Assemblyman Jeffrey Denowitz's office. Unfortunately, the Assemblyman couldn't be here tonight, but he does send his hellos and well wishes to everyone. Um, as for events, we're not having any currently in the um, district, so we just want to stop in and say hello. Thank you so much for being here. Alexis? Hi, good evening. Hi. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, the latest borough president uh, newsletter should have been sent out. If you haven't received it, again, please let me know so that I can send that to you myself directly. Uh, community board applications are still open. We are still accepting um, applications online. Again, the deadline for that is March 3rd. So if you know of any um, anyone that's interested in becoming a member or any youth that would like to be um, introduced into the community boards and know how local government works, please tell them uh, to give me a call, send me an email. Um, other than that, I will be here for the remainder of the meeting and thank you so much for the time as always. Thank you, Alexis. Um, Eddie Espayat. Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you for having our office in this wonderful meeting. Our office is currently hosting mobile constituent services throughout the district. Um, I'm going to drop that information in the chat. 
Um, and the next upcoming mobile constituent services is going to be in partnership with the New York State Senator Jamal Bailey. Um, that information will be listed in the chat as well. And I would like to extend my thanks to Ursula and the entire Community Board 12 for hosting our mobile constituent services. So thank you guys so much for your hospitality and welcoming the Office of Congressman Jamal Bowman. So thank you all. And that will be all on my end. Thank you. Thank you, Edie. Uh, next, we have Max. Yes, good evening, everyone. I'm Max from the Office of Council Member Kevin Riley. So I just wanted to give you guys um, a heads up that the Office of Council Member Riley will also be attending the event tomorrow, the housing event. So we'll be tabling there. And also alongside everyone from Carl Hasty's office. And I saw so. Just wanted to announce our next event. It's actually going to be at the Community Board 12 office on March 7th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So this is a homeowner's property tax info session. And also we're going to have free tax prep courtesy of Urban Upbound at our offices Monday and Wednesday. So I'm going to leave all this information in the, in the chat below if you guys want more information and contact information. And thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, Naki? Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Community Board 12, for hosting. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. You know, uh, my name is Nakai Cruz. I'm a Bronx Outreach Coordinator for the Civilian Complaint Review Board. You know, as you may know, the city agency, CCRB, investigates allegations of misconduct um, against members of the NYPD. It could be under excessive force, abuse of authority, discourtesy, and offensive language. That also includes sexual harassment through, through sexual assault, as well as bias-based and racial profiled policing. Um, we have the honor of hosting our next public board meeting on March 8th, that's a Wednesday, at the wonderful Bronx Community Board 12 location. So please feel free to join us. Please feel free to share with your neighbors and friends. Um, and this is a discussion about police community relations. It's not ge geared towards, you know, um, specific misconduct or specific. This is about the Bronx Community Board 12 and their experiences with p police and their in, in their community. And we're here to join both uh, the people, the police department, and CCRB with. Uh, bettering our relations together so we can better our community together. And I welcome you all to join us. Thank you again. Thank you and apologies for mispronouncing your name. No uh, worries, I'm used to it. <laughs> apologies. Sydney? Hi everyone, um, I'm here on behalf of council member Dinowitz. Um, he is sorry that he couldn't make it tonight. Um, just a few really quick announcements. Um, the first is um, just to address illegal parking um, or parking of unattended vehicles. So we've been working to address the numerous complaints of illegally parked and unattended vehicles in the area. Um, if there's a vehicle that you would like to report, please first file a 311 report, but then you can email me directly or my office directly um, with your 311 report number, and I will follow up and add that to our ongoing list. Um, and when I'm done speaking, I'll put my email and all of my contact information for my office in the chat below. Um, and then on upcoming events, um, I was also gonna just boost the fire safety info session, but that was already spoken about, so I'll skip that. Um, so this is still in the works, but my office is working on coordinating um, a community info session slash Q and A um, with a really great organization that provides a lot of resources. Um, for Bronx residents to basically address fair housing. Um, so everything from education to actual resources, legal services. Um, and I will follow up with more information and the flyer and the Zoom link. Um, it is over Zoom once everything is coordinated and final. Um, lastly, uh, mobile office hours. So our district office is currently undergoing construction. So we are going to be holding mobile office hours in public libraries throughout the mm -hmm. district. Um, I will also put this in the chat so you don't have to necessarily remember it, but from 9.30 to 5 p.m. you can meet us on the first Monday of the month at Mashaloo Public Library, second 
or sorry, second Tuesday of the month at Van Cortland Library, third Wednesday of the month at Riverdale Library, and the fourth Thursday of each month at the Kingsbridge Library. Um, again, I will put all that information as well as my contact information in the chat, um, and please feel free to email me um, with any personal specific um, budget issues, all of and any of the above. Um, thanks, guys. Thank you, Sydney. Isai, am I saying your name right? Isai, Isai. From yes, the you got Isai. it right. You both names actually are the same meaning, so I appreciate that. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Good evening again. Um, I'm Isai, Community Affairs Engagement Coordinator with the Bronx District Attorney's Office. Um, April um, 15th, that'll be a Saturday. Um, we're having our uh, child safety fair. It's from 11 to 3. Um, we are still working on the location. We're, we're locking that in. We're very close to locking in the location. But that will be, again, April 15th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please bring your kids. Or if you know anybody who has kids, um, the age range is, um, I believe, is, I think, like from six and older. Um, you can bring your kids. We'll have goodie bags. We'll have a lot of things going on, fun activities and games. And also uh, on April 19th, that's a Wednesday, We'll be, we'll be having our um, re-entry fair for those who have been incarcerated, who are dealing with the court system or individuals who are looking for work, employment, or trying to get IDs and so forth. So it'll be like a re-entry fair in regards to like resources that'll be given out to individuals. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns, please message me separately on this app. And I'll also provide my number and my email for any questions after this. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Ronell? Hi, this is Renell from State Senator Jamal T. Bailey's office. Um, Senator Bailey is having a, um, this, let me make sure to say properly, a reading challenge so celebrating Black stories. Um, I'll provide more information in the chat. So um, if there's any children, um, students who would like to partake, the challenge is to read um, eight books. And if they read eight books, I believe they would receive You cut off right now. We still can't hear you. Okay, we're gonna, we'll come back to you. We're gonna move on to Victor. Hi everyone. Um, this is Victor Martinez uh, from the Office of Congress Member Richie Torres. It's great to be here. The only announcement that I have for now, like the past two months, we have been settling like in our new office, and um, and finally we have our office like uh, ready to go and open. So in any case, our office it's at 540 East Fordham Road. And if you need like, any services from the Congress member's office, you can call us to 718-503-9610. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Victor. Ronell, are you sharing something with us? We still can't hear you. Ronell? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes, um, so yes, I'm sharing um, Senator Jamal T. Bailey's um, reading challenge that's celebrating um, Black stories. So um, children can partake in reading um, eight books. And if they accomplish reading eight books, they can receive a free book. And I believe if there's any classes that are partaking in the reading challenge, they um they would be entitled to a pizza party. So I would provide more information in the chat. Thank you. Okay. You're um, welcome. Okay, great. Do we have any other um elected official representatives on the call? Ronell, if you can stop sharing, that would be great. Thank you so much. Okay, and so then that concludes our reports from the elected officials, representatives, the Bronx Borough President's um, report as well. We're gonna move on to the next part of the agenda. Um, Mr. Steven Caruso, who's with the Department of Sanitation, 
Um, and Mr. Caruso, we believe that you are just joining us. Are you here with us? Steven Caruso, your hand is up, but we can't hear you. Okay, thank you. And just as an FYI, um, please make sure that you connect with our um, the chair of our committee, Ms. Uh, Carla Brasati. She's been trying to reach you. It's Absolutely. important that, we'll that you connect with her because she does keep us informed as to what's happening. Okay, thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen Caruso. I am the citywide community affairs officer with the New York City Department of Sanitation. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak this evening. Um, I do have a very important announcement to make. So we're going to have a change to our set out time, uh, which goes into effect on April 1st. Okay, so as of right now, we have the earliest trash set out time of any major city in the country. That's currently 4 p.m. We're going to be pushing that back until 8 o'clock p.m. If you want to put your trash out in bags, if you would prefer to put it out in a receptacle or a can, you could put it out as early as 6 o'clock. All right, that's all residents across the city, 8 p.m. in bags or 6 p.m. if you put it out uh, in a pail. This is going to apply to businesses as well. Businesses will also be required to put their trash out after 8 o'clock p.m. Or if they want to continue uh, the same process as now, which is one hour prior to their business closing, they can do that, again, as long as they put it out um, in a receptacle. So these are big changes. Um, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Not only will this uh, help to mitigate the rat issue that we have all across the city, but as we know, trash at the curb. Um, takes up a large footprint, it impedes pedestrian traffic, it's unsightly, um, at times it smells. So this is without a doubt um, very important that we we all follow the rules and uh, buy into this. So again, that's going to be starting on April 1st. Okay, um, just as a sidebar, any buildings with nine or more units could opt in annually for a set out time between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. on the day of their collection. Okay, that application period opens in January. Uh, we've missed it for, for this year because it, it closes um, at the end of January, but nonetheless, next year it will be open again in January. So buildings with nine or more units can enroll in that program. And that'll be pick up, scheduled pickup between, uh, set out time between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. for pickup that day. Um, but otherwise, that, that's pretty much it from my end. Again, just we ask all residents to please uh, participate. This is for good reason. It's important that we have all businesses and, and residents are, um, put out after 8 p.m. or as early as 6 p.m. if you put your trash out in pails. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Thank you. And I will definitely follow up with, uh, with Carla tomorrow. Thank you. Carla, do you have a question? We can't hear you. You're muted, Carla. Carla, we see, you're muted, Carla. We see your hand up. We still can't hear you. Do you want to put it in the chat? You could put it in the chat, Carla, because we can't hear you. And Mr. Caruso, just please make sure you follow up with her because she has some questions for you. Absolutely. You got it. We'll do. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And so now we're going to move on to the next part of our agenda. Um, our district manager, Mr. George Torres is not here. So we're going to skip over that. I do want to make an announcement. Um, Ms. Queenie Paniagua, who's one of our board members, is now vice chair of land use um committee so she will be joining forces with mr carl stricker we're super excited about that so congratulations miss queenie paniagua okay um now i would like to move on to the next part of the agenda and that is the approval of the board minutes for november 17th 2022 for the general board meeting can i get a motion to approve the minutes. So moved by John Isaac. John Isaac. Second, second Robert Hall. Great, thank you. Moving, moving right along to the next part of the agenda. Um, financial report. 
wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You got to call. Oh. You got to take a vote. You got to take a vote. Well, okay, so call the roll. Uh, Judith Benitez, aye. Egeria Bennett. Abstain. Denise Bond. Aye. Ivan Boras. Not present. Caller Basati. Just shake your head, caller, so I can see what you're doing. Caller. Shake your head, yes or no. Okay. Carla? Carla, can you hear us? Yeah, that's the question. Um, Carla, can you hear us? Shake your head yes or no, Carla. I, I can see Let me, you. I'll put it in the chat for her, Ms. Benitez. Okay, I'm going on. Okay. Um, Michelle Brumfield is excused. Victor Brown. Aye. Deacon Brown. Aye. Norbert Bryan. Aye. Desiree Campbell. Not present. Sadie Campbell. Aye. Joan Claude. Aye. Chris Devone. Not present. Charlene Dickerson. Aye. Kevin Eichelberger. Not present. Alfredo Figueroa. Aye. Johnny Goff. Not present. Robert Hall. Aye. Lisa Hayes. Not present. John Isaac. Aye. Theodore James. Hi. Are you at the meeting? Keisha Martin. Aye. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. Lucille. Aye. Lucille. Aye. Martin. Aye. Shanika Moore. Not present. Clinton Mike. Aye. Carmen Ortiz. Not present. Queenie Penanwaga. Penanwaga. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anthony Reed. Hi. Sherry Samuels. Not present. Carl Stricker. Aye. Venga Sabaya. Uh, aye. Luke Zabados. Aye. Deborah Torado. Not present. Deborah Walker. Not present. Ryan Walters, not present. Esther Yama, aye. The eyes have it, Madam Chair. Uh, hi, and this is Carla Borsati. I got kicked off for a few minutes, but I'm an I as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And um, I have a question. Do we have a quorum? Beatrice? Yes. I, yay, nay. I. Thank you. Okay, the ayes have it. Does someone yeah, say do we have a call? We do, Carl. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Ms. Benitez. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to move on to the next part of the agenda. Ms. Tallene Dickerson with the financial report. Good evening. 
evening, family. How y'all doing? Hope everybody is fine. Everybody looks real good, waving and smiling and stuff. Hi. <laughs> um, everything is still basically the same. We are still at two thousand six hundred and twenty-five dollars in our sunshine fund. The letter is going to go out tomorrow for this year's sunshine fund. Uh, just you know, look in your emails for it, please. We won't go into too much. Y'all be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dickerson. Now we're moving right along to the next part of the agenda committee report. And um, a reminder too to the chairs, please make sure that you send me your committee reports. Thank you. Ms. Benitez, we're gonna go ahead with the Economic Development and Business Services Committee report. Good evening, everyone. This is gonna be really relatively short. We had a meeting and <clears throat> we had one establishment um, that uh, we need to send a letter of objection for. And this is for John and Joe's restaurant, AKA Last Stop Grill Bar, located at 4609 White Plains Road. It was up for renewal. Um, there have been so many complaints and incidents that have occurred at this site. And the 4-7 uh, sent us a report indicating all the incidents that had occurred, and last one being a a second shooting, which was fatal. Uh, it was when it came before us, we, the committee decided that it should not be uh, renewed, the renewal license. I'm sorry, yes, I'm here. Who's that? Someone said they were here. I don't know who that is. Okay, uh, I'm, let me just continue. Um, so we are recommending to the board that we sent a letter of objection to SLA to deny the issuance of a renewal license for the last stop grill bar. That is my report. Thank you, Ms. Benitez. Sure. Can um, I get a motion to approve the committee report? So move. So move. Okay, we got Mr. Stricker, and who was the second? Robert Hall, I second. Thank you. Okay, and now we're going to go on to take a vote. Yes. And I make a motion that we uh, send uh, send a letter to SLA supporting the committee's decision to oppose it. Okay. Um, do we want to combine this voting together? Or we want to do I, 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 I thought you only had one. No, no, it's only one, but we we're going to approve the minutes first um call. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, oh, we were in the middle of your report. We should finish you up before we do the the second minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um Judith Benitez, I this is for the approval of the minutes for the economic development committee. Everyone, uh, Jerry or Bennett? Aye. Denise Bond? Aye. Ivan Boyes? Not present. Paula Bassati? Aye. Bumfield is excused. Victor Brown? Aye. Deacon Brown? Aye. Norbert Bryan? Aye. Desiree Campbell? Aye. Hello? Sadie Campbell? Aye. Joan Claude? Um, Aye. So, I mean, I haven't. I'm getting echo. I don't know who's. Okay, I'm not going to. Um, Chris Devon? Not present. I'm here. I'm present. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Who's this is speaking? Chris Devon. Oh, you're here. Yes. Were you here when we went for the approval of the minutes? 
Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I had something momentarily to do for a second. I'm sorry. No, I, I stepped away for for a second. Okay, so you're, you're approving it. You're saying aye on this one. Yes. Thank you. Tolene Dickerson. Aye. Kevin Eichelberger. Not present. Alfredo Figueroa. Aye. Johnny Goff. Not present. Robert Hall. Aye. Lisa Hayes. Not present. John Isaac. Aye. Theodore James. Theodore James. Ted, we see you're on the call, but you're muted. Can you unmute yourself, Ted? It's Bonita as if they're voting, they have to show their face. Yeah. I just, because Chris, the phone is showing face. Thank you. They do need to show their faces. Is Theodore James voting or what? He may have stepped away. He's not responding and he's okay. muted. Not present. You, you all hearing me. I'm saying not present. Um, Keisha Martin. Aye. Lucille Martin. Lucille Martin. Aye. Shrinika Boer. Not present. Clinton Mike. Ah, can you see me? <laughs> Carmen Ortiz. Not present. Queenie Panayagua. Aye. Anthony Reed. Aye. Sherry Samuels. Not present. Carl Stricker. Aye. Benga Sabea. Aye. Luke Zavados. Aye. <clears throat> Deborah Torado. Aye. Deborah Torado. Aye. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, Deborah Walker. Not present. Ryan Walters. Not present. Esther Yama. Aye. The eyes have it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do you all stand by your votes? And I want you to put in your motion. Yeah, the motion is to support the uh, Economic Development Committee recommendation not to approve a, a renewal of a license for Last Stop Restaurant on White Plains Road, 4609, I believe the address is. And I think Bob Paul seconded it, so. Okay, is, this is sending a letter of objection to this New York State State Local Authority, Authority everyone. Uh, are there any changes in the votes that I received earlier from anyone? If so, state your name. Are we saying that all is in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So carried. Thank you. Aye. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> Madam Chair, Ms. Hayes just contacted me. She's on her way in. She's trying to get on. Okay. We're about to wrap up though. Um, Ms. Benita, do you wanna wait for her vote or can we move on? No, move on. She's not present. No. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, um, <clears throat> we're still thinking of yes. putting together. We're still um, working on, um, putting together a gathering for our board members. Please stay tuned, send us ideas. Um, Ms. Claude, this concludes our meeting. Ms. Claude, would you like to uh, send us off in prayer?
Miss Claude, are you with us? What happened? She's here. She's still here, isn't she? Yeah, I thought I, I saw am. Her. I am. Oh, okay. Miss Claude, yeah. could you could you close us out in prayer? Well, we are done. <laughs> yes. Dear Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. we thank you for this time together. We thank you for the opportunity that we have had to meet and to discuss um, the changes and the opportunities that we have in our neighbor, in our community, dear Lord. We ask that you will help us that some of this will be implemented. And dear Lord, as we leave each other, but not from your presence, we ask that you will continue to bless us all, bless our family, bless our friends. And we ask all of this in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you. And so we're closing out Good our night. meeting. Good night, everyone. We're closing out our meeting at 7.45 p.m. February 23rd. Thank you all for being here. Please make sure you join us monthly. Please make sure you join our committees. It's super important. That's where you get all the information. So by the time we come to our general board meeting, you're fully informed. Thank you all and have a super blessed rest of the week. Good night. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. Happy, birthday. You. Happy, Happy birthday to birthday. all the February birthday. babies. Thank you. All right. Happy birthday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.